CA Empress. Hey Empresses, how are y'all doing today? This video is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, y'all. First things first, I only have one YouTube page and one Instagram page. Don't get scammed. You can only book a personal reading with me using my website, which should be listed down below in the description box. I pray you're having a beautiful and blessed day, week, and month of October. May Father God continue to cover you, bless you, keep you safe all days always, and I am sending you so much peace, love, and healing energy, Taurus. And anybody sending any negative energy towards me or Taurus in this reading may be returned back to send a thousand fold thank you holy spirit amen let's begin angels ancestors spirit guides of the highest white light please come down and protect me please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine archangel michael holy spirit please come down and protect me guide me and keep me safe and please come down and protect and guide the viewers i have clicked on this video today what are the messages today for taurus taurus you got good news coming in regards to love baby i know okay taurus you got a new beginning that's coming here look you got a sacred union taurus like, for real, for real, okay? Honor this relationship because it's really sacred. You got a new beginning with somebody, a new adventure awaits you. This is a new blessing coming in. All right now, Taurus, like, let me scoot up. Let me, <laughs> let me scoot up, isn't it? Is, okay? Let's get into this. They want you to embrace it, okay? This is like a dream come true. This is going to be a passionate new beginning with this person. And this is romance, okay? This is real love. It's like Cupid's arrow said, boop, hit the bullseye, okay? Hit the bullseye, bullseye, hit the target, okay? Don't make decisions right now based on guilt either or what you think that you should be doing in regards to a situation. Like, be true to you because that's the only way you're going to be able to be true to other people around you, okay? Make decisions based for you and your happiness at this time. Don't do it for nobody else or don't do it because you feel like somebody thinks I should make this decision or I need to do this. No, Taurus. Like, do what makes you happy because that's keeping you along the path of, like, towards your destiny, towards your calling. You going with the flow. Choose your battles wisely. Not every battle that comes your way is a battle that you're being led to fight or have to fight, okay? Some things, I forgot who I said this to yesterday. Leave imbeciles exactly where they at, okay? Leave them where they stay. I think this was with Sag or with Leo. Leave imbeciles exactly just where they at. Okay, real talk. Healing is getting ready to come in. And this is coming in regards to you creating balance within your life, your masculine and your feminine energy within self. This could also be you getting ready to meet someone. This could be around the 14th of the month, okay? Or it could have happened around last month, the 14th, where it's like this is someone that's going to be the perfect blend of energy, the perfect yin and yang to you, the perfect blend of like love, the perfect blend. Y'all are going to be the perfect blend coming together, Taurus. Like, congratulations, baby. Like, real talk. Okay, the number six is here. June could be significant. You could be beginning, like, your healing journey. This could have happened, or this could be happening around the six. Okay, this is also, like, you manifesting money. A lot of, like, good luck energies around you with the color green. But you definitely have someone that's going to try to come up against you. And Spirit's like, listen, you don't have to go up against this person if you don't want to. Choose your battles wisely. The number seven could be significant. Okay, the number 67, 76, the number 10, October could be significant. Someone could be born on the 6th, the 7th, or the 10th. Something could be happening around the 7th that's going to test your patience, okay? Also, around the 10th, you could be needing to go around, like, go with the flow. Something could have happened around the 10th where you were being pushed to understand, like, go with the flow of divine time and trust for what's happening in your life. Trust that everything is happening and it's working out for you and your highest good, whether it's good or bad. Okay, so there's a rejection that's taking place in the community, or you have people that are going against you in your community because of somebody that you want to get married to, Taurus. Okay, these people just going to have to be mad. Like, somebody here could be trying to ostracize you or kick you out of the community or the neighborhood or make you feel like you're not supported, and it could be because you want to marry somebody. This could even be like y'all eloping or going away or getting away or you just knowing that you're in a spiritual union, a sacred religious union with somebody, and God is very pleased with you. You have people in your community that are false people that want to, like, stop this, okay? Okay. And it's because like, either they're getting paid to do this, like, or this is some type of money that they could be trying to get out of this situation. Like, if, yeah, like for real. This is a message of concern. You keeping something to yourself, you coming into a lot of money, this sudden wealth that's getting ready to come in within this relationship that you're meant to be in. You guys could be buying a home or moving into a home together. This is something about you leveling up spiritually and as above, so below. You're becoming this privileged man or this privileged lady. Okay, you're a wife or a husband or you embody this energy and this is putting people in concern. Okay, you getting on the journey that you're meant to be on at this time, Taurus. It's like, because when they had you in a certain energy, they were able to use you and abuse you and manipulate you and take from you and they were, you were giving to them. People that you shouldn't have been giving to. What's this community about? Yeah, people are mad, Taurus, that you blocking them. It's literally, 
They want to argue with you, fight you, that you have called judgment and isolation or in secret that you decided to go on a new path. The hold back and trust where God is guiding you. And all people could do is literally look and be in like awe at you causing endings. Towers, okay, transformation, changes, shifts taking place. Okay, the five of cups is in the reverse. These are people from your, your past life. Your childhood people that you could have grown up with, people that you have have history with, that are seeing that you're not in a place of regret or sadness or remorse. You are becoming like more elevated, more radiant, okay, more beautiful, more handsome, more confident, more more like your self esteem is like boosting up at this time. Okay, everything has worked out for you and your highest good. You causing these towers. You're making these changes. Okay, you're making these epiphanies happen. You're bringing them out revelations because you could be embracing a revelation or an awakening, okay? And it's bringing you towards love. It's not only just strengthening your intuition and your psychic abilities, or you could be clairaudient, clairestin, a medium, a prophet, prophetess, but it's like, this is making you like really love life again, putting you on the path of love, of happiness, of feeling overflow, of feeling rejuvenated, replenished by up above. God is pouring into you, okay? All you have to do is continue to walk away and you will receive your just dessert. Somebody here is mad that they tried to betray you or they wanted this to come to an end and it's not, okay? You have Temperance Angel. Archangel Michael ain't playing about you. This is also Sagittarius energy. Protection is around you at this time. A lot of heavenly guidance and protection around confusion energy that could be trying to be sent your way to you, Taurus, because you have stability, money, a home, a nice house, a nice car, a nice career, nice job. You live in a very affluent area. You dress very nice. People want to get back on the same page with you. People within your community that you could have rejected or that tried to reject you because you wanted to level up, elevate. Okay, you wanted the true two of cups. And this is intimidating to people that never thought that you were going to have this or want this or be in this mindset or never thought that this was going to come. Never thought that this, like this day was going to come. The devil. Very dark energies that want you, that are obsessing over your home or where you live or your stability that you are creating, your partnership that you are creating, how you are a high priestess. Somebody here is scared. They're scared at what you know intuitively, the messages that you receive, the downloads. Okay, how you're dropping drama within your life. No more conflict. Five of Wands in the reverse. This is bringing hardships to these people at a distance that are watching you create endings, create change. Keep going, Taurus. Keep going. That's why Spirit's like, you don't need to feel guilty for nothing. You was feeling guilty holding on to the wrong people. These are people that are devilish, very dark, very demented, but that I want to keep you trapped because they were using your energy to manifest or just using you in general because you were giving to them freely. Out of here, Taurus. F that. Move forward. Like, you don't need to feel guilty. What's this message of concern? We already know it. It's about your home, some type of relationship, some type of security, partnership. You getting ready to have a lot of money, wealth, a breakthrough is getting ready to come in very quickly for you. Cancer energy is here too. You could be getting ready to be celebrated, or you're about to be, or you're about to celebrate. This is also like you having independence, freedom, financial security, stability, loving yourself, being able to do what you want to do, being able to listen and trust in your intuition and it guiding you in the right direction and it being able to work out for you. You could also be finding out that you're pregnant, okay, or this is like new love, a new commitment to love, a recommitment with someone that you may have already encountered in the past that you could be getting ready to be guided towards, but this is the love of a lifetime coming in towards, okay? This is fortune, favor that you're being guided towards, the queen. I'm, I wanted to say the wheel of fortune, but the queen of pentacles was in my mind as well, okay? You could be definitely a wife or a husband, or you love your family, or you know how to give back to the community. You're very resourceful, very independent. You could be a business owner, a boss, or you could be getting ready to have a promotion or a raise, or you're just focusing on your money, things that are of importance to you, material harvest, things that you could touch, feel, and smell, your attributes, your achievements, okay? A lot of blessings is getting ready to turn around for you because you made the right decision at this time. Somebody is confused about how you did this okay you can have scorpio taurus aquarius or leo highly aspected or you could be connecting to one okay the nine of cups is what's coming in taurus congratulations somebody's concerned that you doing this by yourself is going to give you everything that you want and they're mad about it that they don't have this that they're not going to be this wealthy this blessed this millionaire this billionaire they mad that it's not them or they're mad that they can't sit at the table with you then i'll have to say the queen of pentacles was showing itself in my head i'm telling y'all <clears throat> This is your judgment for you to be this individual, male or female, okay? For you to, you're about to live a lifestyle that people are really about to covet and they're about to be mad and you, it's just what it is. That's just the way it is supposed to go. That's just the way it goes. That's just the way it goes, 
okay? Literally, people are mad that they're very different than you, and Archangel Michael ain't playing about it. Like, Archangel Michael is showing you clear as day, like, this is someone that goes to the extreme where they will, okay? You definitely have someone that doesn't want to divorce you, okay? If they don't want some things to come to an end, they feel like you guys don't have irreconcilable differences. They feel like you guys could get this back together. They feel like if you just rest and rejuvenate a little bit, you'll, you'll wish for them again, or you'll want them. It could be a Virgo. The magician, somebody's trying to manifest you bad, bad Taurus. Like, this is this could be another earth sign. This is someone that's also trying to survive the daily hustle. You have a water sign in your energy that you could be coming to a realization about. Or that's coming to a realization about you. A Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. You definitely have an earth sign that could be struggling with money or that could be needing your help around money, okay? Or you could be needing to cleanse your energy and your space and your aura at this time. This is putting someone in a mental confinement because they know marriage is coming your way. It's here twice. A long-term relationship, commitment, a spiritual union, something that is really blessed, something that's going to bring you a lot of fortune and a lot of favor and a lot of good karma is leading you towards your destiny. Somebody here could have tried to trap you with a child or they could have tried to get pregnant by you or they wanted to tie it to your money or they tried to guilt trip you, make you feel like a victim or blackmail you or make you feel sorry for leaving them. Okay, this could be someone that you could have a family with or that wanted this with you with the Ten of Cups, but this is what's coming in for you. A lot of happiness, a lot of peace after trying, after feeling trapped in a situation, okay, with the devil. Somebody was really toxic or is really toxic and abusive. Yeah, you beat this devil. It came out in the reverse. And this person don't have no type of clear vision, and that's how the way it's supposed to be. That's the way it's supposed to be. Archangel Michael is protecting you, is making sure that you have logic, but this person sits in the same confusion that they wanted for you. Okay, literally, that's the truth. Like literally, you're gonna have this new beginning. You're gonna have this new beginning. You're gonna have this two of cups dynamic with someone. It's meant for you to have this. It's meant. It's divine timing for this. Somebody here wants you to stay stuck in the past. You could be a divine masculine or a divine feminine. This is someone that is watching you from fake profiles. They want to create drama because they know that you have unconditional love. This could even be someone that knows that they could have tried to take somebody from you. There go that Virgo. Okay, literally, you always have a choice, but fear could be making you question it because there's someone that wants to manipulate you or they want to play on your mental, your psyche, because they see that you are ascending towards. You're getting on your spiritual path. You're going through an awakening, and this is exactly what's supposed to happen. Somebody's really tuned into what's happening. They want you to lust. Be very sexual-based. Okay, they want you to focus on the sexual chemistry. This even could have been someone that you could have created a family with or you could have had children with or tried to, and it was unsuccessful. The Six of Wands, it fell from grace. Or this could be someone that's about to have public humili humiliation, public embarrassment, okay? While you are manifesting what, you, what really aligns with you. There's also a Libra in your energy and also a Gemini that could be seen that you are taking charge of your life and they want to retaliate. They're like, where are you going? You're becoming this emperor or this empress, okay? Literally, somebody here is realizing like you're working on your shadow or you're healing your shadow self, which is helping you free yourself from addictions, restrictions, the devil, Okay, karmic attachments, a mindset, a way of being, whoever this is that you're about to be with, you're going to be mirroring this person and it's going to be unconditional love. It's some type of rebirth that's getting ready to take place. Scorpionic energy. Okay, Aries is here with the emperor. Taurus, that's your energy. Okay, let's see what else. Whoever this is, you were helping them with money, and now they feel like they don't have the bag no more. They don't feel like they have the support anymore with you. You could have been definitely assisting this person with their bills, or they were really codependent on you, and they wanted you to be codependent on them, okay? And there's a change or a shift that's taking place. Like, no more of that. This person was fake and living beyond their means. They could never support you, or they were never going to be able to support themselves. They need that, that they need help. Okay, they're also trying to keep notes on you. Somebody was trying to make it feel like a vacation, being with them, and it don't feel like that. Or you could be waking up to something like a false reality. Somebody's a dark high priest. They don't listen to God. They go against God. Okay, please understand that you will overcome. There's definitely a Pisces that you could be closing out a cycle with as well. There's a new beginning and ending that could be taking place. The letter D could be significant as well. First, middle, or last initial, yours or theirs. Something could be happening in a week. Be mindful of a karmic tourist. This could be another Taurus outside of you that is demented, demonic, dark, abusive, aggressive, manipulative, and you're going to have to hold back from this person. The letter M could be significant, okay? Somebody who was playing mind games with you, Taurus, literally the letter J, they could have been paying for spell work or they were they were doing it themselves and it's not working. Something could, could have happened on Wednesday or even on Tuesday, 
okay? You also hear, have your surprise visit. Somebody wants to pop up at your house. It could be a Sagittarius, okay? This could be someone that realizes that you have a happy home, which is why they want to come. Something happened two months ago, okay, where somebody has realized you have a healing energy. It could be a Libra that's realizing that all blockages have been removed, and it's because you're going towards your destiny. This could be someone that wants you to... They want you to stay stuck in drama, to be someone that creates drama, or this is someone that wants to create drama in your life, and you need to stay the fuck away from this person because they already got caught. You know what they're doing. The letter E could be significant. You you letting them stay is you playing ignorant. Are you playing like dumb? Somebody here got their sister involved as well. Okay, return the ten, the sender times 10. Whatever somebody was trying to send your way, it has been returned to sender. Or they thought that they did a return to sender and it failed. It didn't work. They're not strong enough for that, or spirit wasn't granting that. Spirit was like, no, you're going to sit with whatever you was trying to send. They could have been trying to block or pull something back. It could have been a Virgo. There's also a Virgo that's trying to make it hard for you to move on from them. You also got an air sign in your energy as well. It could be an ancestor, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius that's helping you because you got a child's mother or a child's father. That's the problem. There you go. And protection. 444, angelic, spiritual, and ancestral protection is over your life. For someone here, your mother's involved, or this could be a mother figure or a father figure. The letter G could be significant. Something could be happening in the next 24 hours. Okay. I'm, ooh, something could be happening on Tuesday as well. Okay. You can expect communication in the next few hours from someone. Okay. Yeah. Scorpio is in your energy heavy. Somebody here, the mind games failed. You're going to be in true love and marriage with someone. And this is their worst nightmare for you to do this or take the necessary actions to have this. The letter R could be significant. BDE is here as well. You can communicate. You, somebody's going to try to reach out to you today. Okay. They know that you're going towards your twin flame or your high level soulmate. Yes, you are. Okay, you also have here the letter Z is here. Be mindful of who you hook up with right now because somebody has an STD or a, tra a sexually transmitted demon that they want you to catch. Okay, and it's because you don't have no more delays, no more blockages, no more holdups in your life. Okay, your angels, your ancestors, and your spirit guys, they are protecting you and they are keeping you safe all days, always. Okay, don't you ever forget that. Okay, you could be also getting ready to get approved for a new luxury car. The letter K could be significant. This could be a Lambo, a BMW, a Benz, a Porsche, a Bentley, or an Audi. Okay, you also have your lovers all around you, Taurus. You could drive a Toyota, a Honda, a Chevy, a Ford, a Mazda, Acura, or Hyundai, or this person does. Okay, this could be someone that's physically or verbally abusive. Please understand that you are never alone. This is a hard little whoremonger that they're trying to protect you or get you away from. Okay, focus on your plans because they will work. And focus on overcoming because you will overcome. Okay, Archangel Michael, what is the advice for Taurus? Please and thank you. The person that you are asking about is trustworthy and it fell right on top of the two of cups. You could be an earth angel or this person is that you're about to be in a relationship with. A very healing and divine energy that you're coming in contact with. Okay, if this isn't you, Taurus. Thank you for helping me have faith so that I can open my heart wider in my relationships. I am grateful for your protection and sharing that only trustworthy people are in my life. You are on the right path. Okay, and forgive yourself because you have done nothing wrong. Okay, literally, I ask that you help me let go of self-blame and forgive myself. Please guide me in releasing any toxic anger or fear towards others. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for allowing me to feel centered and at peace. And you have Archangel Michael, I call upon you now. Thank you for giving me loud and clear guidance that I easily understand. Thank you for motivating me, filling me with the courage and confidence to do helpful life changes. Amen. Okay, and let's get advice from... the Holy Spirit. Please and thank you. So you have here, my big vision is the sum of the small steps I take each day. You have here, when my dreams feel scary, it means I am on the right path. It is my birthright to thrive. And you have here, I am the guardian of my happiness. I hope this resonated with you. May peace and blessings be to you always, Taurus. And I'll be seeing you on the next video.